Hello and welcome to a new Google Forms and Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to talk about pre-fill links. What are they? What are they good for? And how to create some quick pre-fill links from our Google Sheets. So what I'm going to do is a form where I can enroll to a course. And then here I could change the course. I could change the date of this course. And then this will automatically change my pre-fill link here. And I already have form with some pre-filled fields that then I can send to my students or to my group or to my newsletter without them having to fill out everything. They already have filled out key fields and they only have to fill their personal data. I think this is really, really useful and it's a really nice feature of Google Forms. I know you love it, but before we begin, I'll invite you to subscribe to the channel, or even more, go to my Patreon page where you can download these and more than 100 templates from all the videos in the channel. Thank you for watching and let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is to create a Google form. There are many ways of doing this. The easiest way is to do forms.new. Let's say we're going to create a student enrollment form. And here, what we're going to need, let's say we need the email and let's say we need a name, let's say we need the course we're going to enroll, maybe the date, whatever. For now, let's put name and this will be a short answer. And then let's put course. And this could be a multiple choice and we can have Google Sheets, Google Apps Script and Let's go preview, and here we have. There are two advantages of having a pre-filled Google form. The first one is that you can save time to the user. For example, let's say that we had, um, I don't know, not only name, oh, duplicate this, and we only have, we also have last name, and we have phone, and we have other. Let's say this is a recurring student. This. So every time he wants to enroll to a course, he has to write his name, write his last name, write his phone, and many other things. So he'll say, hey, but I've, I've been here to 10 different courses. Why do I have to fill out all of my information again? So this is the first reason. The second one, let's say we have a date. Let's say we have a date for this course. But the date, I'm going to give the date. So I need to send the, for example, let's say I do some in February, some in March, and some in April. Okay, I'm going to do a Google Sheets course in each month. So one way would be to do for each course, do a different form. Because how do I know which month is it? So I will have to ask the, the student which month is, and maybe they don't even know. So with prefill, I could give automatically the date and the other advantage is that I don't have to have multiple forms and I don't have to have one form for the March course and the April course and the May course. I'm just going to have one simple form and one simple database where I'm going to store all the database of all my courses. These are the two advantages of having prefill answers. And then we could do QR codes and the, this is a more advanced advantage that we can also have. So if I send like this, the form to any student, well, they would have to fill out everything. However, if I go here to the three dots, I go to get prefill link, forms is going to open a temporary window where it's saying, hey, prefill the response and then click a link. I'll help you create a link with some responses already filled out. So. The first nice thing, nice thing about this is that let's say you have a group, a Telegram group, a WhatsApp group with a hundred potential students. And you say, hey, I'm going to invite them to roll out, to enroll to the course that we have May. So here I'm going to May. Well, we're in September, so in October, October 2nd. And it's Google Sheets because I'm not going to give Google Apps Script in October, just Google Sheets. So if I click get link, 
Now, when I send a student or anyone this link, uh, sorry, so I'm going to copy the link, I haven't copied it, and then I'm going to paste it here for now. So is this weird URL that has some, a lot of numbers, a lot of letters, a lot of data. So if I hit enter, if I send this link to my students or to my group or to my newsletter and I hit enter, then when they go inside, they will already have filled out the Google Sheets and the data. It has one caveat, is that if they are very creative, then they may change the date. So this is a risk you have to take because there is no way in Google Forms to block this so that they don't tamper with this, so that they don't edit the date. This is then, let's say, the risk to cover. So they need to believe you that you send it with Google Sheets and it will be Google Sheets. So this is the first use of pre-filled forms. You can send the same form, but with different data in different occasions. And again, you don't have to have 20 forms, you'll have always the same one, but you'll always pre-fill it differently. So in March, you're not going to have a February one, but a March one. And you're going to say, you're not going to have sheets, but app script. So you do the same process again, go to the pre-filled link, you put the new date, you put the new course, and it will send it to the user. However, we can go one step further. We're going to create a Google Sheets. And we're going to save the process of having to do this manually. We're going to do it a bit more automatically because it's just a link. So it's a link. And if I can create the link for the courses that I have, then, and not, not only the courses, imagine that I could send, that I could have for each of my students. Let's say I already have, a, I don't know, an academy. And to each of my students in the academy, I want to send something specific. So I could do it. And then I could do a code that sends an email with that specific refill form to each of them. But this is a, a more, let's say, advanced technique that maybe we'll do in a second video. For now, so the thing I want to show you is how to create these links programmatically with a formula, it's not complicated. Let's say we have the course. Remember that we had here Google Sheets. Actually, I'm going to paste it. Copy this. This and then copy this and then copy this. And then we're going to create a drop down. So I'm going to choose these three, hit right click, then drop down. And we have a drop down in the three of them, but I'm going to just leave it in B3. Done. And delete these two. And then I have my drop down. And then I have my date. And here I'm going to validate this as a date. I'm going to add a rule. And I'm going to say the rule is validate. That's it. Done. So whenever I double click, I'll get this nice calendar. Now, what I'm going to do is copy my link here. Remember, I had copied it earlier. Here it is. Link. Refill link. I can do a wrap here, here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this as a formula, not as a text, but as a formula. How? At the beginning, I'm going to put an equal sign, then quotation marks. Then I'm going to close with some other quotation marks. And with that, I already have it converted my text into a formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Google Sheets I'm not going to name Google Sheets, but I'm going to name whatever course I have selected in my B3 cell. So I'm going to delete this Google Sheets. And here I'm going to put an ampersand and then go to. However, I have these spaces. So in order to remove the spaces, I'm going to enclose my B3 in an encode URL function. Code RL. And now if I click this and paste it here. I go to my pre-filled answer with the Google Sheets. If I change this Google Sheets for Google Apps Script, and then I go here, and you can see that I've pre-filled it with Google Apps Script, and now I need to change the date. Change the date, I'm going to 
in close, I'm going to remove this 2023-1002 and I'm going to replace this with quotation marks, ampersand quotation marks. I'm just concatenating two strings. This one up until here and this one up until here. So let's hit enter. It should continue to work, but I don't have a date. So now I could say, okay, now let's go for this date ampersand but it won't work why because you can see that it has converted my date into a number 45,180 dates are converted automatically by sheets to a number so i need to convert this into a text that will be accepted by google forms or by my browser so i'm going to paste this again the original one i had so you can see the difference here you can see that i had 2023 10 O2. So I'm going to use here a formula called text. And I'm going to take this one and say in quotation marks, say, hey, convert this to this year, then month, then day. So it will be four Y's dash two M's dash two D's. Close it in a quotation mark. I'll close my parentheses. And now I have it. And I'll paste it there. You'll say, hey, I think this will work wrong. It won't work. I'll tell you why. Instead of before, I'm going to put before in, inside my formula text. Okay, let's hit enter. And apparently it should work. Actually, it should work. So just let's go here. And here it is. I have my date 1109 and Google Apps Script. Let's change our date to. 30 September. Actually, it works perfectly. 30th September 2020. So now, very easily, you can create your own prefill links here and then send it to your students or to your group or whoever. And that's it. So then, in a second video, we could do this instead of vertically, we could do horizontally. We have here first and the date and the prefill link. So you could have a lot of courses, a lot of dates, and then you have the history of your prefillings. You can do it. It's just the same as this. I hope you like it. And if you like it, you can go to my Patreon page to download the template of these and more than 100 videos. Or you can just subscribe to the channel where each week I bring you Google Sheets, Google Forms, Google Apps Script, and much more. Thank you to my patrons. Their support is awesome. Thank you. See you next time.